Is that? 23 times? Yeah, and it opens into the uh, wall to the right. I don't have it hooked up power-wise yet, but you can use a come-along and pull that door open and close. <laughs> Are you okay, Polly? <laughs> the nuclear silo. Well, I guess it's not a silo. They call it a silo, but it, it really isn't. I know, it says that on the maps and everything, it's, but it, it, There's no it's, silo here, because the missile laid horizontal. It's, now it's kind of dark. Let me go get her. There you so go. This used to have a 400 ton roof that would slide back and then the missile would stand up and then it would launch from this section over here. But back in the early 90s, one of the owners, they scrapped the roof. They pulled the roof off and thought they were going to get rich because of the value of the steel. Oh, they don't have the tracks up there anymore? That the. Oh, no. That's the flame pit, huh? Where the when the missile took off. <laughs> wow. Now there's a room underneath us right here. It's called the collimator pit. And a guy used to come down here. There, there's a table, an old bench right here, and he would look out this hole. Well, they would they remove the roof, look up that hole, and find the North Star. And they would calculate, you know, it helped help them with the guidance of the missile. They would look north through that hole, and they would look south through that hole. And that's how they put the coordinates in. Wow. Say, so we're Peter Pan forever, huh? We don't have to grow up. <laughs> oh, you got this? Looks like Christmas in here. Yeah, my buddy comes here. My buddy stays here every other weekend, smokes dope and gets all fucked up, and he hung all these Christmas lights. Oh, well, you got a sound stage up here. Yeah. You yeah, gonna have a... I play around and DJ a little bit. We listen to you're gonna have a nuclear uh, nightclub in here someday. <laughs> you come over here and you pull that. Now how, how it worked, there's a door over there, a metal door, and it actually goes right here. That was actually filled with sand as a buffer in case we got, you know, bombed here. So you come over here and you pull that lever and that first door would open, all the sand would fall out, and then they would, you'd go up to the final door, which is up at grade level. And Oh shit, that gives me vertigo looking at it. No. <laughs> I'm not sticking my leg over there. <laughs> You're welcome to it. Not me. But that, would, that would have a door and it was on railroad tracks. You can see part of it. It would, it would open up and the flames would shoot right out of here as, it was, as the missile was shooting off. <laughs> Bizarro world. <laughs> well, I mean, look at look at all the concrete. Look at you could tell where every one of their forms were. Like every four by eight sheet of plywood was. Right. When they formed it all. Yeah, I built the house in Seattle. We put we put forms for eight foot sheets of plywood all around it. A cooling pond. It acted as a big radiator. When the like I said, the diesel generators they would run twenty four hours a day. They never turned off. And to cool them, the water would come up 
and it would shoot up in the air about 12 feet and it would it would cool and then it would collect right down in here and get recirculated back through the diesel generators this is a, just a big radiator <laughs> open air radiator open wow air radiator no no cooling towers or any of that shit nope it, it had it had little nozzles on on them what is it one two three six pipes right there and it would shoot up and it would collect and it would just come down here and recirculate right back through like a kitty spray park That's what <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.